Ladies and gentlemen, good morning, good afternoon, good night, and good evening from wherever you are watching from. This is Anoto in China. I am winding up my documentary about the hidden treasures of Nyabohanse, and as you can see, I'm in Nyabohanse, and I can't wind up further without missing this guy. You've all seen him on Amaro's channel, you've all seen him on his channel. Ladies and gentlemen, it's underscore it's pablo underscore it's, it's pablo underscore -E. welcome to my youtube channel hello guys it's pablo underscore ke uh -huh. thank you brother for hosting me because uh -huh. you know we had even planned to yeah. have a, a video together yes but uh, now you know the more you do meet so many youtubers around your content creators yeah and it's a little bit hard yeah so how are you feeling about the village life here now um the village life is quite impressive because uh, you know uh, i come from kitali wow and kitali is just the same setup like this one so okay uh, i of course i i miss my village yeah. but i decided to do this uh, mission yeah because uh, a man is good to set some uh, purpose and pursue them True. and then go back and then your heart will be peaceful but i'm connecting with nyabohanse because i truly relate with it and yeah. uh, i'm having a good time actually wow yeah nyabohanse is a it's a it's an undiscovered place but thanks to the youtube space yeah. people are getting to know about nyabohanse True. and uh, so many success stories around this place courtesy of youtube yeah yes so as we move tell us who is uh, pablo pablo also is a village boy mm -hmm. I've been in the city for several years, mm -hmm. like uh, I've been in the city for 15 years. Mm -hmm. Then reached a point that uh, I needed to move back, mm -hmm. to move back to the village. Because mm -hmm. uh, there's a point that uh, someone feels like mm -hmm. it's time now to at least change. Mm -hmm. Don't be too much into your comfort zone. Mm -hmm. So I decided like, uh, let me come here. Mm -hmm. By then I was still working. Mm -hmm. So the moment I moved here, that's when even my contract ran down. Mm -hmm. Like now, what else should I do? Uh -huh. I was just there, uh -huh. but uh, by then I was not so interested in YouTube. Uh -huh. But I was following people, Mar, or watching his videos, uh -huh. watching other YouTube content creators, uh -huh. Nast or Maja. Uh -huh. So one day, and you know, Maja, they used to come to my place. Yeah. At times, I give them data. Uh -huh. They upload their videos. Uh -huh. So one day they told me, like, bro, you can try this. Uh -huh. I'm like, really? Uh -huh. Holding a camera in the village, uh -huh. talking, uh -huh. moving around. Uh -huh. People might think you are a madman. Like, this guy now has <laughs> gotten into a kind of madman. Yeah, yeah. So it reached a point that uh, Maro, no, sorry, Maja had to push it. Mm -hmm. And like, so one afternoon I went to their place, uh -huh. parents' home. Uh -huh. Then Maja told me, you know what, bro? We need to do a video. Yeah. You need to start your video right here, right now. Uh -huh. I'm like, how will I start? Because uh -huh. already I had a hint, I'd already gone through some videos. Uh -huh. Because even my brother's channel, Sejo, uh -huh. I'm the one who was uh, behind it. Uh -huh. uh, like I pushed him, I used to edit his videos. Uh -huh. I'm like giving him, I'm telling him like, maybe today you, you should change something else to know what the audience like. Yeah. So I had a hint. Uh -huh. So my first video, I started like 10 intros, like 10, uh -huh. stopping at 10. So the 10th one, that's when now Maja came in, uh -huh. we did a video. Uh -huh. That's when my journey started. Uh -huh. Now for now, all is well mm -hmm. and i love everything in the village here yeah i love everything here bro mm -hmm. and i uh, thank you tomorrow mm -hmm. tomorrow has really supported so many young men and young girls here mm -hmm. and uh, at the level that i'm i am now mm -hmm. it's thanks tomorrow thanks mm -hmm. to maja and Aston, all people who supported me mm -hmm. up to here maybe um uh, right now how many subscribers do you have i'm uh, almost to 2.5 mm -hmm. yeah 2.5 mm -hmm. are you monetized i'm monetized what? I monetize. Uh, I wish I will be like you, man. <laughs> you will, you will. Yeah, you know, yeah. <laughs> you know this journey. Mm -hmm. I'll tell you, mm -hmm. it's step by step. Yeah. Do not rush. Mm -hmm. Do not rush. Mm -hmm. Cause if you have that, like uh, you are pushing, mm -hmm. like you're like, man, I want to do it today or tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Something might happen or something bad. So at least step by step. Yeah. When you do step by step, mm -hmm. it works. Yeah. It doesn't matter how long it will take. Mm -hmm. But I you know we always say God's timing is the best. Yeah. So you know, give up. At least now the audience, you know, the moment to come here, mm -hmm. we shall at least say that uh, there's that uh, crowd of audience in Yabo Hansi. Yeah, yeah. So many people will be watching you. Mm -hmm. So maybe when you go to China, mm -hmm. you'll be able... And there's a time your video popped to my channel. For real? Yeah, not after in China. In China. Mm -hmm. I think in some town in China, I don't know. So it popped, mm -hmm. but I never knew whose guy. I don't know who I was watching. Mm -hmm. 
I don't remember who I was watching. Oh, I, that's good feedback for me. Yeah, so I, I don't know who I was watching, then it popped. Yeah. So even the time I saw you with the camera going mm -hmm. tomorrow, I mm -hmm. think the first time I saw you, you were on a, on a motorbike yeah. carrying something. Yeah. I'm like, this face is familiar. Oh, okay, okay. But now I never remember. But now when you told me even in China, I remember it came. Oh, okay, okay. I think, I don't know who was in China. I, I was trying to follow like a certain story in China. Then it popped. Yeah. It popped, you showing around. Because uh, there's that impression that uh, mm -hmm. most black men are unlikable in China. Yeah, yeah. So I was like, how did this guy make it there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You see, so I was, I was interested to know. Mm -hmm. So then uh, during that time, I never ended that video because mm -hmm. I was rushing to make a video. Yeah. So I never, and uh, you know, now the moment the channel comes, mm -hmm. then you go back again, you know, it does refreshes. Yeah, sure. So sure. it disappeared. Mm -hmm. Because there was a store that you're showing, like I, I, I had interest in that, so yeah. I never got a time to mm -hmm. like subscribe to your channel. Yeah. So the day I saw you there, mm -hmm. I was standing at a sun like this guy's familiar. Mm -hmm. This guy's familiar. So that's when now you came. Mm -hmm. Even when you told me, so like yes, I did watch you. I watched your video. Okay. I watched your video, bro. You're doing um, nice videos. Mh. I like how you edit your videos. I don't know. I don't know what uh, system you use or I what. Just use uh, CapCut. The CapCut, huh? Yeah. Yeah, yeah you're making. Yeah, you're and, making uh, good videos. I document my process. I, when I go somewhere, I show them how I'm going when I'm there. Yeah. How I interact with the Chinese. Wow. How the Chinese receive me. Wow. Yeah, that's uh, just simple as that. Wow. Yeah, yeah. So how long have you been uh, to China? I've been there merely eight months, eight but months. maybe I'll be going for further two years. Oh, further two years. Yeah, so maybe you see in the content creation space, I'll have two years to explore. Wow. Yeah, yeah. Wow. So and it, it, uh, with, with your feedback, at least uh, I know I, I, I'll push for more content uh, in yeah, China. True, true. Now with this vibe around, yeah. um, I'll keep on keeping. True. Yeah. yeah. True, so true. back to you. Yeah. Uh, because uh, uh, we said 15 minutes, it's okay. Minutes, yeah, yeah. yeah. How did you come to meet Marwa? Or did you guys grow up together? Or how no, Marwa. It? Yeah. Maro has been uh, my childhood friend. Mm -hmm. If you see uh, only this building has blocks there. Maro, they used to stay somewhere. Somewhere there. Oh, okay, okay. Somewhere there. Actually, maybe this video. Yeah. I will maybe. end uh, when I'm. Uh, you know, you you were shown that place. Yeah. Where they have now barricaded their building. Uh, there's a house that uh, David Junior, I think David Junior and the dad are constructing it. There. Yeah, yeah. So that used to be their original home. Okay. So this market behind here, mm -hmm. where now you can see buildings where our mothers are selling. Yeah. They used to, the structures used not to be there. Yeah. We used to play at times football there, mm -hmm. but Maron wasn't good in football. Mm -hmm. So at times we'll come, hang around there. Mm -hmm. Then we go downwards here. We go and uh, to look after our cattle. Mm -hmm. So Maro's dad used to farm somewhere down there, mm -hmm. far, far from here. Mm -hmm. And uh, luckily enough, our dad, uh, our dad used to, our dad uh, were friends. Mm -hmm. So how we met with Maro, mm -hmm. you see where this building is. I know uh, no one has ever shown there. Oh, the, you see where they're the barricaded there. Uh, the barricade, which you one? See, you see the eye oh, somewhere there. Oh, yeah, that one. The camera is yeah, there. Yeah, uh, somewhere. It's somewhere yeah. where the, those ladies are. Yeah, yeah. That's uh, where we used to stay, like a rental house. Oh, okay, okay. There were mud houses mm -hmm, there. Mm -hmm. So when Mara's parents came first mm -hmm. in Nyabohansi, mm -hmm. uh, they were my parents who welcomed them. Yeah. Someone came and introduced them to them, like uh, dad told them, okay, it's okay, because you don't know anyone here, you can come, you get a room to the one of those uh, houses. Mm -hmm. By then, we were the only tenants there. Mm -hmm. They gave them a room, mm -hmm. they stayed. So you know, us and Marwa, we've been now like we grew together. Mm -hmm. We'll go sleep with their house. Mm -hmm. They come sleep with our house. So that's why we started now knowing each other, like yeah. now brothers. Yeah. So I and Marwa, I think I knew Marwa when we were around, if it's now ten years, if I'm not wrong, it's ten, ten, no, ten years. Yeah. So we'll move around here. Mm -hmm. That uh, where you're seeing th those two poles, yeah. the electric poles. Yeah. That one used to be also a playing ground. Okay. And always go sit there, mm -hmm. play. Mm -hmm cross the road, come back. Mm -hmm. So that's why, that's why then, because the mom now uh, came here, uh, congrats mom. Mm -hmm. She's been uh, transferred to another school known as Rokari Primary School. Rokari. When you go. Yeah, I normally see you, David Junior take her somewhere. And, uh, there, yeah, but you know, yeah. mostly when he takes her, he usually brings her, there's a church here. Okay, okay. Because there are seven today, yeah. there's a church here. Yeah. So that way that goes up there. Yeah. Stuff. That's where she, she was transferred to. So she was new here. Yeah. So like uh, my parents told her, because here it's near, mm -hmm. you won't be using maybe transport or what. Yeah. You can just walk yeah. and go. Mm -hmm. So 
now we started knowing each other that way, that way, that way. Now the dad started now, at least now knowing people, mm-hmm. he could get a place to farm. Mm-hmm. Then, uh, luckily enough, mm-hmm. Maro came with school with him. There's a school here known as Rev. David Vescov. If you go through his videos, yeah. you're able to see that. Yeah, yeah. So, we were schooling there. Mm-hmm. At first, we were schooling where the mom is teaching. Mm-hmm. Then, uh, our parents transferred us. So, then uh, the mom was like, uh, My son took and go. I think that's a, a nice school. Yeah, I'm going to leave a nice school. So, mm-hmm. We all went there. Mm-hmm. So after that, we went because our home is down there. Mm-hmm. We bought the land there. Mm-hmm. By by then, at least their dad had started now nav- uh, knowing people. Mm-hmm. Then they moved. Mm-hmm. He st- he bought that piece of land. There. Okay. There. Uh, here. Yeah, well, here. He bought okay. that piece of That's land actually there. their That's piece the of land. That's the first piece of land that their dad bought okay. here. Yeah. Up yeah. there. Yeah. So he went and put a structure. Mm-hmm. I think they were helping each other with the congrats mom mm-hmm. they put a structure. Mm-hmm. So that's how he began. Mm-hmm. Like uh, the dad the dad the dad is so educated mm-hmm. but he loved farming. Mm-hmm. Maros dad loves farming. Mm-hmm. He like uh farm a lot of sugar canes. He had so many farms around here. Mm-hmm. Even where Maro now is building. Yeah. That place used to have they used to have a, a big sugar cane farm. Oh, okay, okay. Where the where the villa is. Yeah, that's so Maro, was their farm. Yeah, their farm, their land. That's, that's their dad's that's land. That's their dad's land. Okay. But I think Maro either Maro bought it. I think Maro bought it from the dad. Okay. So it's it's now under Maro. Maro bought it from the dad. He was okay. like, no dad. Mm-hmm. This part you've given me this. Mm-hmm. I think I'll have yeah, to give yeah, you something yeah. like uh, to appreciate. Yeah. So, but the rest of the part mm-hmm. is a uh, Maro who has bought it. Yeah. Bought the land. Yeah. But still, there's a land after the the villa mm-hmm. on the other side. Yeah. There's a land there. Actually, I took my audience because we've been documenting. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, apart from that one that he gifted uh, Winbo. Yeah. Yeah. yeah the, the forest where. Forest up there. Where the other uncle is. Yeah. No, forget about the uncle. One, Mo? Uncle Mo is on the uh, upside down. So he gave Winbo is a different place. Yeah. Yeah. So. You know he has a plan like uh, when we were talking to him, he was like he want to build like cottages okay. down there. Mm-hmm. If you cross the river, then down there. So mm-hmm. he wanted that land because mm-hmm. you know that there are two people there. There's another guy who has that land. Mm-hmm. Then after that, mm-hmm. that guy's land, mm-hmm. it's Maro's yeah. land. Yeah. That land was bought by the dad, but I think maybe Maro has bought it again okay. from the dad. Okay. Because uh, one thing uh, about him is that. Uh, he like appreciating, mm-hmm. like he can't get that land mm-hmm. without even uh, like returning or refunding back the money, mm-hmm. or he'll get it and mm-hmm. buy the dad's land. But I think mm-hmm. they did that like a family thing, mm-hmm. then uh, sorted the dad out. Mm-hmm. So uh, that's when Omar bought. But uh, but previously mm-hmm. the dad used to farm there, mm-hmm. so he had two lands mm-hmm. where they built their compound. Mm-hmm. The compound where Congrats mom and dad are. Mm-hmm. That land wa- was bought by their dad. Okay. But by then, Maro was in Colombia. Yeah. When he used to come, he used to come here. Yeah. So, and now he bought that one and the, the one that the river there where the villa is. Yeah. So when Maro came, they started construction. By then, you know, people never knew Maro, but he, he used to send them cash. Like mm-hmm. they'll build, build, build mm-hmm. slowly by slowly, slowly mm-hmm. by slowly, slowly by slowly, mm-hmm. up to he completed their parents' house. Mm-hmm. So Maro, we grew together as. Mm-hmm kids young kids mm-hmm. from primary schools together mm-hmm. uh, then now in second school you know now everyone has his own preferences the yeah. parents yeah. now yeah you see the parents now yeah it depends and you know mostly when you are teachers mm-hmm. teachers will always like their uh, children to go to better schools yeah you see that and uh, you know most teachers do have connections yeah I mean, Teacher will call you and say, hey, I have taken my son to a certain school kindly, uh-huh. bring your son or your daughter here. Yeah. That's how it happens. Uh-huh. So in second school, that's where we separated with Maro. Uh-huh. Then he went to the city. Uh-huh. He went to the city. Uh-huh. He was trying to hustle. Then uh, J- 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 college. I think Jaycourt. Yeah. Yeah, he was in Jaycourt for uh-huh. Jaycourt. Uh-huh. That's why we went now to like, uh, he was a banker. But at the same time, he was uh-huh. trying music. Yeah. You know, most people don't know, but Maro has tried music yeah. too. Yeah. So after that, I saw on social media like Marat saying he's not in Kenya. I'm like, uh-huh. man, are you serious? Because uh-huh. you know Marat used to be that guy like uh, he'd make a lot of jokes, uh-huh. he'd laugh, yeah. he had that talent uh-huh. in him. Uh-huh. But now, when he went, uh-huh. fifty fifty. When he went, uh-huh. we were not sure. Like, is this guy playing uh, mind games with us? Uh-huh. I'm like, bro, are you for real? Yeah, the real world told him no, no, no. Uh-huh. So I had to call one guy. He's a musician because we used to hang together. Uh-huh known as Edu Swaga, brother to... Yeah, Maja. Yeah, Maja, yeah, yeah. So, because, you know, when here we are, we are three of us, mm-hmm. 
I'm like, bro, have you seen Marwa on social media? Yeah, he left. He yeah. left. I'm like, wow, he left to be like a teacher in Colombia. Uh-huh. So I wish him all the best. Uh-huh. So that's how we used to do. Uh-huh. But now when we were young, uh-huh. uh, for now you can see Marwa doing many things. Yeah, you know, Marwa so is an ambitious guy. Uh-huh. Who is like, the moment he puts his mind on something, uh-huh. trust you me, he never turns back. Yeah, sure. So, Marwa started rallying uh, pigeons. Uh-huh. Before him, there's another home just near here, behind here, uh-huh. where that guy was the dawn of pigeons here. Yeah. So Maro started with like uh, two, three, uh-huh. but now he'll get money, go buy, uh-huh. add more, uh-huh. more. So it reached a point that he was now owning, oh. the, he was the biggest uh-huh. fellow who had pigeons in uh, this place. Uh-huh. So Maro will come to school with new shoes, you're like, man, your parents bought you this. No, no, no uh-huh. one bought me this. Uh-huh. It's my own effort. I'm like, how did you get money, man? How did you get money? Uh-huh. You, are, you, you are our boy, uh-huh. show us. Uh-huh. He's like, let me show you. Uh-huh. Maro has never been, uh, like, how will you put a uh, mean or to someone? Uh-huh. You see, like, uh, he likes to see some people grow too. Yeah. So he came like, uh, bro, this is what I do. Uh-huh. I'll give you. I remember my first pigeons, he gave us, uh, he gave, I do four and me four. Mm-hmm. Like Start guys, with. you need to start with these. Yeah. But the rest, when you come, mm-hmm. you'll buy. Uh, that's you'll have to buy. But yeah, Very by impressive. then we used to buy about a hundred shillings. Mm-hmm. A shil- <laughs> hundred or the big ones that yeah. used to settle on fifty to fifty. Mm-hmm. It depends where you come from. Mm-hmm. The moment he looks at you, most he saws those uh, kids that are their parents are well off. Mm-hmm. They sell it at, even at a three hundred. Yeah. Even remember, there's a time he sold one at five hundred shillings. So Maro will do like that, save money, go buy himself clothes. Mm-hmm. Like now we started we and growing together. Mm-hmm. Then we started running uh, rabbits with Maro. Mm-hmm. So that's how he had that mind of making money. Mm-hmm. But uh, we never saw him one day he reach at this level yeah, yeah. where he'll be the biggest person on, on, on uh, the biggest travel uh, personnel mm-hmm. on on this country now because mm-hmm. uh, you know Maro. Uh, currently uh-huh. is at the top yeah sure is at the yeah. top uh-huh. so we never saw it coming uh-huh. like Maro used to be like you see comedians how he is yeah like used to, be, used used to be like Chachi. i swear he was like he used to be on that on another level than even those guys yeah he used to be good at that uh-huh. so we did like that like that now when he went uh-huh. so i think also god opened the way to be like brother you can be either content creator or so that you can show calls where you're coming from you can show calls your friends mm-hmm. back in in kenya yeah and that's where he is yeah. and trust you me through maro mm-hmm. i think god had a reason as to why he took that guy from me yeah he took him to the city mm-hmm. went to connect it with the other people mm-hmm. then from there he went to south america mm-hmm. you see mm-hmm. then from there that's why now his youtube journey started mm-hmm. but maro being smart enough mm-hmm. feels like no, I can't because the music maybe the buses. Yeah. He was like, I can't like just sit here, let me show call my village like mm-hmm. this is how YouTube does. Mm-hmm. This is how YouTube pays. Mm-hmm. I think even when you're him he's an honest guy. He tells you yeah, he tells yeah. everything you see here. Yeah. It's yeah. all on YouTube. Yeah. Forget about all all that uh, all the nonsense that people speak, like uh, he's making his money, it's through YouTube. Yeah. yeah. It's through YouTube bro. Mm-hmm. And uh he decided like why can't I share this audience with my fellow villagers, uh-huh. my fellow friends, uh-huh. my other YouTubers? Uh-huh. And that's why we are here. Yeah. That's why we are here. Uh-huh. Because no matter had an opportunity, like they have gone, constructed a house in Runda. Uh-huh. Yeah. Go by anywhere in the city, uh-huh. maybe Diani and uh-huh. build like their a politician. Politician, thing. how they so that, so that you be away from the away people. from the people. So yeah, yeah. But him, he decided. He told me, no, no, no. Uh-huh. I'll come back to the village. Yeah. I'll come to the village. Uh-huh. At least show hope. Uh-huh show that young girl that young boy like uh there's hope in life yeah there's hope in life yeah so that's how aware we are with him man, and we thank god for that yeah because for me i do like most of the time when you see my videos they do say like maru is like joseph that sort of joseph mm-hmm. when his brothers went uh like uh they dumped him but later on his own came and rescued yeah the family mm-hmm. came and rescued all the that whole, uh, village. whole village yes you see? yeah so it's a blessing to us guys it's a yeah. blessing to us and uh we thank god for all that bro. Mm-hmm. so you know when i where i saw maro came from and where we are at times you see people talking or say bad things about i say i saw you don't know that guy yeah maro used to go you go to their house where goats are he's sleeping next to the goats mm-hmm. maro times you come to school like 
smelling that goat. Uh, like, bro, what's going and, on? And he didn't know he'll be the goat. He never knew he'll be the goat. <laughs> <laughs> He's the god now, man. Because he uh, he knows the secret knows to the being secret, the god. Being the god. Yes. But now here we, here we are. Yeah. Here we are. Mm -hmm. I say, at times when I sit down and look at that guy where he came from, mm -hmm. I say, man, it's God. Yeah. It's yeah, God. Yeah. Everyone has his own destination. Mm -hmm. If you saw if you saw his journey, how mm -hmm. he used to be, mm -hmm. and to that level he is, yeah. you can't believe it. You can't believe yeah. it. So we are here. Mm -hmm. He decided like let him grow together with the rest of the community yeah, yeah. and you see through him mm -hmm. you can see people have constructed houses yeah, so their many, kids yeah, so uh, school fees yeah. are being paid yeah. so these men more has done so much than what even our politician or MP can do yeah even the yeah. MCA yeah, the MCA can. even the president the president this impacting area, people one on one. one on one on the ground you come you see you see, like you've this been is there Mama you've been there yeah you've been there yeah, yeah. You do meet so many even elderly people who yes. go tomorrow, you're like, yes. and they tell you, no, let them come. Yeah. At times you say, I don't, but the moment they come, like, one to two more, let them come. Yeah. Let them come. Yeah. He'll go tell you, this one here, mm -hmm. I got a, a sponsor who is paying the school for the kids. Mm -hmm. This one here, he'll tell you so many things, you're like, wow. Yeah. This guy, this guy is blessed because of, uh, he has that heart to help. Yeah. He has that heart to help out. Mm -hmm. So, it's a blessing. It's a blessing. And you know, it's because of that. Maybe if it was him alone, I could not be here. True. Because uh, one thing I like, you know, I want to tell a story with a girl. Yeah. For example, if if it was like a, a standalone man, so there is nothing about it. True. So just like this is Maru and this is about him. But now, what I'm interested in is, yeah. Yes, you are. You are a big person. You are. You are a big name. You have yeah. made money and. Uh, well, so what are you doing with what that? Doing with what are you doing with, the, with that man? But uh, what, what I appreciate about him is the fact that he came back yeah. and he wanted to empower his community. Everyone yeah. and uh, inspire the next generation of yes. content creators. And they, as they say, charity begins at home. And uh, he's been able to showcase that. And uh, I'm glad. In my episode, as I've told you, I'm doing the hidden treasures of Mr. Bohansi. Yeah. Uh, so many success stories yeah so guys it's very possible and uh, I'm relating with the stories I'm experiencing these testimonies one on one yeah, yeah. yeah. now uh, we have talked too much about uh, Marwa yeah. so yeah tell us about your plan moving forward in terms of content creation because somebody might be wondering yeah now Pablo what what, what can happen if Pablo travels if Marwa travels for one year one year yeah uh, even before that, you know, even I started my channel, mm -hmm. my YouTube channel, mm -hmm. when Maro's not around here, yeah. Yeah. but he's been watching me. Mm -hmm. And the first time we came, he was like, uh, I've seen you open a YouTube channel. I said, mm -hmm. yeah. So I wanted to like, uh, never to rely so much on him. Yeah. Let me do my thing first, mm -hmm. you see, let mm -hmm. me try mm -hmm. so that maybe when he comes, because mm -hmm. you know, my target was, mm -hmm. uh, when Maro maybe when i maybe we'll come by the way i knew he'll come when i'm like uh, with uh 400 subscribers or 500 subscribers yeah, yeah. that's what my target was because uh -huh. i knew this guy is almost coming yeah so the moment i go there uh -huh. if i've not hit uh he hit that target of a thousand k the moment Maro will come you just uh, i'll be able to, to shoot. hit to shoot then i'll be because watch hours at least my videos people who used to watch my videos yeah. like watch hours wasn't bad uh -huh. So you know, the more you do the videos, uh -huh. the more creative you come, yeah. the more ideas come like, wow, uh -huh. can't I try this today? Uh -huh. Can't I go farming today? Uh -huh. Can't I show them how we, we plant them? So, yeah. so that's how, that's what I did. So yeah. even if Maro travels today, uh -huh. I still have like uh, what I can do, what I can show cause, uh -huh. like uh, show people. Because uh -huh. you know, uh, what I've learned uh, in YouTube, uh -huh. it's, you to co it's you to upload videos, uh -huh. show your audience that you can do it. Yeah show them nice content uh, show them because at times you so many content creators here yeah but trust you me uh -huh. someone will still come and watch you like i yeah. need to see what you've posted yeah i need to see what this guy is doing today yeah and uh that's what i learned from maro yeah so like me my future plans are uh, i need uh like to start traveling because uh -huh. i think when you travel uh -huh. at least your audience will grow uh -huh. The moment you learn to a new country, mm -hmm. your audience will grow. Mm -hmm. Like for now, I think the moment you came here, there mm -hmm. are changes in your YouTube channel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's changes. Yeah. So the moment you go, they still watch you in China. Mm -hmm. Then when you go to China, maybe you'll not stick to China now because you've already started traveling abroad. Yeah. You start moving. Maybe one day you go to India, yeah. maybe to the US. Yeah. 
maybe to South America, mm -hmm. you go to Germany, mm -hmm. you go to France, you see? Yeah. Now you start moving, mm -hmm. start moving. Because mm -hmm. you see for me, like, uh, I'm trying to save the little money that I have, mm -hmm. but I'll start it from locally here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I start from locally here. Yeah. Mm, uh, from even the place that you're saying, you home in Italy, have friends there. Mm -hmm. I wanted to go show people, like, uh, we are from Nyabwanzi, so like, you know, Maybe someone was watching most video of you in Kitale, yeah. but the moment you changed your location, uh -huh. maybe your videos have started being uh, watching, being watched with uh, different people. Yeah. Cause, uh, for instance, if you go to Tanzania, uh -huh. YouTube will recommend videos for oh, the for, yeah, views in Tanzania. Tanzania yeah. When you go now back to China, then yeah. it will see recommend your videos. Yeah. So that's what my plans are. Uh -huh. like, you spread uh, your energy. I spread my energy. Uh -huh. Move around. Uh -huh. You know, for now, I'm not worried. Like, uh, maybe I need to start family. Uh -huh. What? Um, already, I think uh, with me, I'll say like I'm a lucky guy because uh -huh. you know now I have kids and they are growing. Uh -huh. So at least I'll be working hard towards knowing that uh, my kids need to feed, uh -huh. my kids need to go to school, uh -huh. they need to wear clothes. Uh -huh. You see the, all the necessities yeah. they need to. Yeah. So like I'm working towards, working hard towards something at uh -huh. least to achieve that goal. Yeah. So it's uh, working on daily basis, uh -huh. working hard, uh -huh. and. Uh, yeah, my plans are at least to move around, yeah. move around. Because, uh -huh. you know, content creation uh -huh. can make you go places that you've never been. Sure, sure. You see, like Maro? Uh -huh. Maro's dream was uh, maybe, because Maro, when he started, Maro was like, uh, my biggest dream is to go to the city. Maro was the first person in our class to go to the city. The first? The first person from our class. And that was a big achievement. A big achievement. We're like, no, 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 no. Uh -huh. Why did you do it without us? Uh -huh. He was the first person and he went and took a photo. But then if you remember that uh, supermarket, was very common known as Jack and Jill. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where it was. Yeah. So Maro went there, shopped there and took a photo. Uh -huh. Like, man, I was in Jack I and Jill. I it. <laughs> he, brought it. he brought it to a class to show causes. Uh -huh. Like, are you for real? Uh -huh. So like, He's someone who used to do like uh, things that no one will do. Yeah. So through that, you can see even that traveling thing came inside him. If I've been in Colombia, I can try go somewhere else. Mm -hmm. I can try go here, mm -hmm. and it has been into his blood. Yeah. And he has given hope to some people. Like if Maro can travel, mm -hmm. if you have all plans and follow all the what he does, mm -hmm. we can also travel. Yeah. You see that yeah. we can also travel. Mm -hmm. So I really really need to travel. Mm -hmm. Because there are so many places in Kenya that people don't know. Yeah. So many places. Undiscovered. Here. Undiscovered. Yeah. Undiscovered. Uh -huh. So at least we can try that. Uh -huh. Then after that, now, after either you've uh, I've, I've heard enough, uh -huh. we can uh, try like uh, out here. Out of Africa. Out now. of Africa. Yeah. And you never know. Yeah. You never know. Uh -huh. You never know. You'll one day. Even come to China. To China, yeah. At yeah. least you're there. Yeah. For sure, uh -huh. our, I wanted to, even the reason as to why I came to video, I wanted to know like this uh -huh. China. Uh -huh. Because people say like, uh, I don't know if it's true, uh -huh. that uh, China, they usually, if you have dreadlocks, what, you're not allowed to go there. I don't know if that's true. Uh, so I was like, oh, this guy went to China. So I wanted to know. <laughs> yeah. That's when now I never, mm. let me, let's 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 I don't know if uh, I was able, uh, either I was able, uh -huh. I wanted to like how did this guy is a black guy? <laughs> yeah, he's from yeah. Africa. How did this guy but then I never knew you were Kenyan. Oh I never knew yeah, you were Kenyan. So many people tell me that. I never knew you were I Kenyan. I think maybe I'm Nigerian. Nigerian true. Yeah. In fact I saw you even even at the airport. Yeah. Even going to sleep, first time when I landed I went to sleep. Yeah. Yeah, you Oga Oga. Oga, yeah. yeah. <laughs> For sure even me you know, I've been uh, in my mind I used to know you're a Nigerian. Mm -hmm. Because even that video when it popped, yeah. you know this guy is a Nigerian. Even, and even, I remember yeah. there was a time, there's a video came, I think, was it on Facebook? Mm -hmm. Where the Nigerian ambassador was like uh, trying, uh, the Chinese uh, government police mm -hmm. were like trying to harass some Nigerians. Mm -hmm. So you looked alike with, uh, you were like, you look alike, the one who was like, you look alike in that yeah. group. Yeah. I'm like, the moment I saw you, I'm like, because <laughs> you came with a camera, I'm yeah. like, this is yeah. the guy that I saw, yeah. I saw yeah. in China. Yeah. Maybe but that I wasn't will make sure. my videos being watched. Yeah. Now. Because also by name, people say this Anoto. Anoto. Anoto is it yeah. like Nagana, West Africa? By the way, I used yeah. to think either you from that point. Yeah, yeah. So I wanted to know, like, how is this guy in China? Mm -hmm. Because of the stories that I used to hear. Yeah. By then, I never completed it. Mm -hmm. Then coming back, mm -hmm. it disappeared from my channel. And now you'll go Anoto in China. Anoto in China. Yeah. Oh, I'll be able to no, see that. Nobody with such a unique name. Oh, wow, it's, it's a, very unique. Have you heard about Anoto? Anoto, no. I hear Muita, Cha Cha, Mura, Mura, you know, these are... Marwa. <laughs> but yeah. show me one Anoto. Anoto, by the way. On the YouTube. On the YouTube. Only Anoto on YouTube. 
It's you. I bet. Wow. wow the wow. other one you'll see maybe it's a company in Japan. Wow. I don't know how wow. they got the name Anoto. Wow. Yeah, yeah. Wow. So, oh my, at least I've, I've gotten to know that unique story of how you met uh, Marwa, how you guys have moved. Yeah. Yeah, it's very inspirational. Yeah. And uh, of, to answer your question, I went to China through a scholarship and uh, I have friends who have dreadlocks okay. there in China. Okay. Some are there for music, some okay. are performing artists. Wow. Yeah. So I think, and I think maybe in our video we can talk about that. You're still around, right? Yeah. yeah. Can you have a video tomorrow? On your channel? On my channel? Yeah, it's I would okay. like, like to, have, to have a video tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So that uh, we can talk more yeah, before yeah. you leave here, bro. Yeah, maybe it will take a thumbnail. Yeah, we'll take uh, it. Maybe we can take it outside or, uh, or here. It. Let's try something unique. Oh, okay. Yeah, this way is also good. Yeah. Oh my God. this hand is shaking. It's shaking. Can you try? <laughs> I will try it here. Guys. Yes. Pablo. Is Pablo your real name? Uh, Pablo, it's my nickname. My real name is uh, Paul. 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 Yeah, so Paul. Yeah. And then, uh, my I got Pablo because people used to. There were so many Pauls in uh, when uh, I was in college. Okay, do it one more time. All right. You have shaken. Oh, you yeah. shaken it? Yeah. yeah. Awesome. Uh -huh. So, uh, most people by then now they, they told me now you yeah. you need to like uh, we call you this name Pablo because uh, you be different from this guy. Yeah. So that's how you started like Pablo Pablo. Okay. Yeah, true. Because you know now mm -hmm. I, I I think in uh, Hispanic mm -hmm. Pablo it's, uh, Pablo it's uh, Paul. Uh, it's, it's Pablo. Mm -hmm. It's Paul. Yeah. And here, mm -hmm. Paul, it's, so it's the same. Paul so Pablo, it's Paul Pablo. Yeah. Yeah. Or in, uh, in Mexican, or, mm -hmm. so that's why they call me like. So when I started my YouTube channel, mm -hmm. most people know me like uh, Pablo. Okay. So if I would change, mm -hmm. it would be a little bit harder. Yeah. yeah. So, and uh, KE is an initial of Kenya. Oh, Kenya, yeah. So that's what yeah, so I here, did there. Market your channel as we so went So, guys, uh, if you're from. Uh, Anoto in China. In China, kindly mm -hmm. go watch at Pablo underscore KE. Mm -hmm support mm -hmm. like share mm -hmm. and comment mm -hmm. put a sweet comment there guys and yeah. also if you're from my end mm -hmm. go support anoto in china. in china yeah we are going to do some videos with him yes he's a nice guy by the way mm -hmm. so guys mm -hmm. like share, and comment yeah let's uh take him now you heading to i'm uh heading to 1000 1000 yeah. let's take him to a thousand k subscribers yeah let's support our brother yeah he's an african brother he came all along from china mm -hmm. then came to a village mm -hmm. here mm -hmm with lots of love uh -huh. with gifts from uh -huh. thank you so very much bro for hosting me on your channel i appreciate it. thank you thank you God maybe you. take me up to somewhere and then okay. i come with a bike i want no to problem. see I'm, I'm not, i've been busy i've not been able to have a chance wow, to wow. see what's happening i just know the road okay. so i'll alight when where you uh where you want me to alight no i just problem. want to show them the other uh, side yeah. of nyabuanti that i've oh. not been i hope i'll come up to where you guys were staying yeah yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll take a bike. Yeah, you have to get a bike. Yeah. Normally, I like to take more better yeah. angles. Like this. Okay. This one is here. Okay, okay. Yeah, that's why we used to play. Okay. Sure. This is extended interview. Extended interview, yeah. Yeah, yeah just to show you the other side of Nyabu Hansen. <laughs> Next time I'll come here for three months. Okay. Uh, uh, one week is not enough. It's not enough, sure. Yeah. yeah. To come and have time. Yeah. yeah. I'll come I rent know. a house for three months. Yeah. And then. So uh, our home is there down oh, here. Okay. Where that building is. Okay. That's our home is. Yeah. Sure. So let's go. We. I'll. I'll stop somewhere and then I come back. That school. Maybe stop on that. The school. Oh, the school. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I hope you are heading also this way. Yeah, I'm heading that way. So the school where you and Marwa. Yeah. Uh, no. Here is where the parent Marwa. Oh. Where we started. Yeah. Yeah. The school then we were, we transferred. Okay. To another school. Uh -huh. Just like guitar. It's like guitar. Yeah, yeah. So I feel I, I connect with it more. Wow. Yeah. It's like guitar. 
if uh, do you know Mulamua? Yeah, Mulamua, you know. He normally goes to Kitale so many times. So if you watch his videos, yeah, you, you, you see him in Kitale. It's Mulamua the same is an center, inspirational. Right? You see even the house that he's building. Yeah, he's actually Baka, building a house. The village. Yeah. Yeah. He's doing an amazing one. I hope I'll get a chance to go do a house tour. At uh, his place? At his place. When I think I for now he's uh, at the village because of the festive season. Yeah, he normally... And you know I school with his brother, so... Oh. Yeah. Uh, it's, uh, he's, it's quite accessible. Oh. We're from the same uh, tribe, so... Okay. We talk a lot. Alright. Yeah. And I also started as a comedian. Okay, you? Yeah, even Milamo <laughs> when he was coming to Chai Chachi Show, he, yeah. he met me there. Wow, so you've been to Churchill too? Yeah, I've also performed on Churchill show. Wow. Oh. <laughs> Later I'll, show, I'll share a link with you of my performance. Okay. And I've done music videos, parodies. Okay. Yes. <laughs> so when Maro started as a comedian, musician, I relate. You relate, yeah, yeah. true. Is this the school? So this is the school okay. where we started. Okay. St. Luke's Bo Rockere yes, St. Luke's Primary, Primary School. Primary school. Okay. This is where we started. Mm -hmm. This is when uh, the first time the parents came. Okay. The mom was transferred. To Ported here. Yeah. A Ported. public school. Public school. It's a public school. Okay. So they used to operate. You see the distance from there to here. It's not that oh, far. Oh yeah, yeah, no, no fair. Not, yeah, no fair. Yeah, yeah. She just comes here. Mm -hmm. Even she taught here for the longest period of time because mm -hmm. I think even her promotion as a, a head teacher mm -hmm. was done here. From here. From here. Mm -hmm. Then that's now. I think now she's towards ending uh, her retirement. Yeah, yeah. I think she teaches somewhere there. Oh. Okay. We'll call it Korea East. Korea East. Yeah. Yeah. True, brother. Uh, so high school, the same around this place? No, high school, no. High school, Marwa, I don't know, Marwa, Marwa went to, I think somewhere in uh, Migori County. Mm -hmm. Let's see, he went. Mm -hmm. Then, uh, no, he went to Nairobi, the school known as, uh, I don't know, Lisa Hill or what? What is it called? Nairobi. Nairobi is a school known as, I don't, not sure, I don't know. Jamuhuri. Not Jamuhuri. There's a certain school that they school Dagoretti. with some guys. No. There's a certain school that most, most of the time it does top talent. Okay. The top okay. talent. Mm -hmm. I, I I can't call the school properly. Mm -hmm. I think this guy can test now. Yeah. So I don't call the school properly, mm -hmm. but uh, that's where he went. Mm -hmm. Then uh, with me, I was able to like uh, go to Mombasa. I schooled in my forces academy. Yeah. That's in Mombasa. Mm -hmm. Then after my second school, I came back to Nairobi. Okay. That's why I did my colleges mm -hmm. and everything. So I started my hustling life in okay. Nairobi. Yeah. And uh, so now we came back here in yeah, our village. Yeah, yeah. You know, we are like, uh, we're the one, mm -hmm. the young young men and young ladies are the one to make our village grow. grow yeah. You see, and uh, we always say thank you tomorrow because mm -hmm. you already opened mm -hmm. that way. Mm -hmm. So we are also trying our level best because okay. you know my dream is a uh, one day one time mm -hmm. is to make sure this village mm -hmm. has uh, every household has electricity mm -hmm. every household mm -hmm. have water kids are going to school mm -hmm. we're having a good health system mm -hmm. that's what our future plans the are community should the run community fully, should run fully. Yeah. that's what our future plans are at oh. times I do say that uh, we shouldn't uh, rely so much on, on government and uh, mm -hmm. our politicians mm -hmm. We can do it by ourselves yeah. if you get approval from them mm -hmm. to show that either way you're not like trying uh, to counter them on what they do mm -hmm. but are we doing it you see yeah. if you, su you start either maybe such a project like maybe uh, god has blessed us to say like uh, let's construct a hospital mm -hmm. you should get approval from uh, the government the Ministry of health and everything yeah. the moment they see you that because uh, you can build a, a structure then they run it yeah yeah but we want to see better things mm -hmm. here mm -hmm. you see to see better roads kids are going to school mm -hmm. all that all mm -hmm. that if you have like uh, for instance you have like uh, 10 professors who are coming from here mm -hmm. it's a huge achievement yeah very it's big, a huge achievement very big achievement you see yeah it's, we have like uh and you know we thank god uh, with that uh, group of uh, kids that we grew together and school together mm -hmm. we've got doctors from there mm -hmm. we've got lawyers because yeah. it was a, a group that really they did well in this village, okay. even in terms of performances. Because mm -hmm. most of them used to be teachers mm -hmm. or teachers, teachers. Mm -hmm. But now that group that we schooled in that school in Rev. David Uvesco, mm -hmm. it changed that mentality. Mm -hmm. We have doctors, even if you see Maro, Maro did accounts mm -hmm. and everything. Mm -hmm. uh, with me, I did a procurement. Mm -hmm. We have some who are teachers. Mm -hmm. We have some who are uh, lawyers, mm -hmm. you see all that, yeah. like it spread across. So yeah. it has changed the mentality. So even everyone say like, I look up to, to someone. Mm -hmm. I look up to someone. Like mm -hmm. we had one guy who's a, known as Doctor Fred Krieger. He's a he's a, he's a big doctor mm -hmm. around here. Mm -hmm. He was the first doctor from 
Nebo Hansi. Okay. Now Ngiracha follows his steps. If you know the guy known as Ngiracha, usually yeah. times comes tomorrow's place. Mm-hmm. He's also studying uh, medicine, so we'll be having two doctors. Yeah. So we need to have more and more and more, more and more and more. Yeah. And yeah. my roommate also at the University of Nairobi yeah. uh, was from this side. He this studied side. economics. One was studying architect, okay. and uh, another one was uh, in America. Wow. Yeah, so uh, I relate with him. I better try to look for him. Wow. He comes from his... around here? Uh, yeah, here yeah, in, 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 in Korea, right? Yeah, in Korea. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. So that's how things are. Uh, so at least at the village here, when you get such kind of things. So we want to like change, change the mentality of this village. Uh-huh. So that in years coming, maybe five to ten years coming, uh-huh. trust me, someone will come to Nyabuan's village will be like, wow. Yeah. And you know now, through YouTube, it has inv- invited so many investors. Yeah, yeah. There are so many people want to start companies uh-huh. here. Uh-huh. There are some ladies at the villa uh-huh. who want to start something here and see if it can work. Uh-huh. So maybe, and uh, if such kind uh, of uh, either company what starts here, uh-huh. it will uh, create employment. Yeah, sure. It will create employment. Sure to the villages mm-hmm. yeah maybe there's a question i wanted to ask yeah. i wanted to ask somebody who's well versed yeah uh, do you think uh, being on the border between two countries do you think sometimes both countries could ignore you guys uh i yeah i say yes mm-hmm. um, but at most i'll say yes because uh like uh we've been uh in marginalized we call them marginalized, marginalized communities. communities yeah because you know like uh in korea mm-hmm. Uh, like being Korea community, because people who live at the border here, here mm-hmm. in, in this place, the Korea who speak Korea language, mm-hmm. the government had said lend us for the longest period of time. Mm-hmm. And I wish you guys were your own county. Own county, you see. Yeah, I wish we had our own they county. could be Korea County. Korea County, that's we why they're trying. County, yeah. That's yeah. why they're trying, like, mm-hmm. if it can happen. Mm-hmm. But you see, now we were merged, our county was merged with our neighbors, our brothers and sisters are half from the local community. Mm-hmm. But if you see the local community, they're already developed. Yeah. They had better schools, yeah. education-wise, there yeah. are many professors, doctors. Mm-hmm. So, but from Korea, mm-hmm. we never had that opportunity. Yeah. And uh, if you go both again to the Tanzanian side, mm-hmm. because you know Korea community, the, the largest uh, part is in Tanzania, yeah, yeah. but still they were neglected by the, yeah. the government. You get that? Okay. So like the we were on effect. our own, yeah, the border, we were like yeah, on our own. Yeah. So I think when now most of, most of our parents try their level best, like let's educate our kids, mm-hmm. let's try to see what they can do. Mm-hmm. I think that mentality has changed. Mm-hmm. You can see at least a development coming. Mm-hmm. You can see such kind of tarmac roads here yeah. going into the village. Mm-hmm. You see, we used not to have such kind of thing. Mm-hmm. Even that highway there, it used not to be there, it used to be a tiny oh, road, oh. electricity. Mm-hmm. Uh, in the year 20, I think 2013, 15, mm-hmm. we were all off. Okay. Uh, only the town that will get electricity is Migori. Mm-hmm. It's Migori. Mm-hmm. And you know Migori because of their leaders, uh, their, their political leaders, mm-hmm. they used to push like we need development to our places. Yeah, to, there's power in numbers. There's power in numbers. Yeah. So, so after then, and that's why things started changing. Mm-hmm. Korea used to like elect leaders who will go fight in parliament so mm-hmm. we can get a share of the national uh, cake. national cake. Yeah. So for now, I think things have changed, mm-hmm. and uh, at least now government can government can uh, at least feel even there's another community mm-hmm. that uh, is growing. Mm-hmm. So at uh, least things, things are things are doing well. Okay. 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 So mm-hmm. that's now things are changing, mm-hmm. and uh, we believe in like five ten years. Mm-hmm. If you come back here, mm-hmm. you'll see a lot of changes yeah, here. Sure, a lot sure. of changes. Yeah, here. yeah true. I think uh, that's the best place to end that. But okay. uh, that you are very well versed, informative. You're a good storyteller, and I look forward to watching your travel documentary. Thank you, brother. Yeah, yeah. thank you, brother. Hope I am, so. I appreciate for this extended interview. Thank so you. I think I'll just leave from here. And yeah. I'm going back you up to like this where my Yes. Yeah. Yeah, sure. I want to go up to there. Thank video you so much. There. I'll be able to reach out to you tomorrow. Okay, we'll okay. do a video, brother. All right. Thank you so All right. much. Uh, you have a good day. You too. Yeah, man. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Too, okay, okay, okay. So, right. everybody, thanks for that. You're welcome. I appreciate. Bro. Thank you. Very okay, much. have fun. All right. Okay, tomorrow. Okay. All right. So, ladies and gentlemen, I still heard about that amazing narrative from Pablo underscore KE. This is the place where Marwa School is called St. Luke's Rokere Primary School, P.O. Box 50.
40. No, I think PO box 50, then this is the uh, uh, the code. Isibania. And the school motto was St. Luke's 21st. Strive for excellence. And motto. <laughs> Hello. It's, no, it's okay, it's okay. Strive for excellence for achieve uh, to, to achieve more, better. Uh, hello. How are you? Fine. Uh, what's your name? Erina Mora. Mura. Erina Mora. Oh Erina Mora. Erina Mora. Irene Mora, nice to meet you. Merry Christmas, Happy New Year. Uh, nice to meet you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you? Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm fine. Uh -huh. mm. You are going home? Mama home. Okay. My home is around Rokere Hill. Okay. You and I are turning up in no. my house. No, no, I'm not turning up your house. I'm just having a good time here. Okay. Nice to meet you. But miss you if you knew. Even you will miss me. I miss you. <laughs> okay. Thank you so much. I appreciate. Mm. Okay. Mm. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Okay. And even you. Ah, happy me, even me, happy new year to me. Are you children? And no children. Why? No, in future. Why? Uh, Why? I look for children. I'm not looking to you, I'm looking for children. I will have you are, children. You are, under, under, you are running or not running? You are running. I'm not running. <laughs> Why you be? No, it's okay, it's okay. Thank you. This one magic. Mm -hmm. Why you not running? No, no need to run. I can walk. Why? <laughs> okay. Why? Why? You're not running. Can what one could do? You could do you know, you want to do. And what do I running? You run. You running. Even me, I'm running. Okay, okay. I want to see you run. Okay, let's run. Let's I'm run. Come yeah, okay, let's run. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, um, I didn't to Okay, okay. We, we go. Mm. Okay, run to us that way. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> okay, sorry about that, guys. Uh, so, this is Marwa School. Uh, it's not accessible. Oh, it's open, so. Let's see. Soja. Soja. Nobody? Uh, nobody. So this is the school where Marwa school. So the soldier sits there. So you can see a field here, uh, pit latrines over there, another one over there, maybe another makeshift over there. So can relate to the story so they come through that gate and then they go maybe this could be parade i don't see the flag area maybe uh let's see you know you guys might have asked why i didn't enter further so this is marwa school where they started Thank you. So I'll just come up to here, the field and classes. So let me show you one of the classes. So this is, looks like baby or lower primary. Also this. So this is where they started. Let me not go further because uh, I don't have permission to shoot here. Anyway, it's a public school, so no big deal. Public school. And now, I, let me go show you where Marwa used to live.
neighborhood around this place. So I need to call a bike and uh, go up to where Marua used to live, where they started their life. That's me calling a bike. Soko! Let me call this guy. And then we go up to where Marwa started his life. Abariako! Wambo! He's here. Mambo, Niko na record uh, documentary ya huku. Oh. Eh, hey, unaweza nipeleka paka penye maro alikuwa naishi. Haina shida. Eh, hey, ningapi ni hapa tu nyuma but you are time. Eh. Hey. Ocha fanya 50. Wapi wow, maro uko mtoni? Si uko mtoni hapa kwa soko hapa. Ni karibu but uh, nimekuwa hapo sasa hivi. Eh. Hey. Nataka nionyeshe watu. So I'm saying, oh. I need to show you guys where maro is to be so where they started their lives. We've gone up to where he started school. But I want to see where he, where they started uh, their life. So this is uh, the hidden treasures of Yabuhansi. It's Pablo underscore KE he has had a, an amazing time documenting us the story of this peaceful village, the hidden treasures of Nyabu. We go up. This road was not in existence, but uh, things are opening up. Such roads are coming to existence. Unajua apo? Eh? Unajua pinyalko na isi? Ah, mi na juu kumto ni pekia. Oh, twenty. Omo nebe ni area plani twenty apo mbele tu ali. David. I got a camera and how much? Uh, it depends. You uh, are someone you want twenty thousand, but uh, sometimes huh? with a pata refurbished na uh, around thirty thousand for to fit here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. YouTube, when you are going to see the Tambo, eh? Maybe not your own Tony for It was somewhere I. A Bariako? When I got in your marrow, I'll go and eat. The man, what does I come to? Appa? What big Pekunagari? Eh, eh. When you are going to see, eh? Oh, no. Why you Oh, Apa? Unengiri hap? Ni apa pe? I nyumba i? Apa kutu nengiri ya mali pali? Kwenye gate. So we trying to find where they used to stay. Let's see. Boss. Boss. Gate ya kuingia komaro pe nyari kwa naishi ni apa? Huh? Okay, let's find our way. 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 Let's Yeah. 
Na maru alikuwa naishi wapi huko? Okay, so they just no. Boss, habari yenu? Maru alikuwa naishi wapi huko? Nani? Maru. Maru. Akina Maru wa YouTuber. Sio. Ana penye alikuwa naishi sijuni kwa hiyo gorofa hapa nyuma. Maru wa YouTuber. Eh, labda ingia kwa hiyo gorofa. Maru ni huko. Ah ah. Unaona hiyo gorofa ni nimeona hapa ni find. Asante means thank you. So we were right, huh? Yeah. Okay, so. Marwa's place. Or maybe this was the gate. Yes. Even Marwa. But we, we can't access just a minute. So this is written Marwa's Corosso. Muira, Muita, yes sir. So maybe. It's, I think it's this place. But then, up and over here, Marwa. Marwa YouTuber. Penye alikuwa naishi kitambo. Penye alikuwa naishi kitambo. Yuko amebomboa site hiyo. Oh, kwa mabati huko? Eh. Oh, ile sehemu ya mabati. Eh, mabati. Sasa tutaenda kwenye mabati. Na unaingilia wapi? Sasa sehemu ya kuingia hapo ndio nyingine. Oh, tufike kwa mabati. Sawa. So, hapa siwezi tembea. Hapo oh. unipate hapo kuja tu. Sawa. So, let me show you. They say it's here. Hapa the other side okay so he says this is the place there's a heap of sand here and uh, we want to see if I'll go sour something goes right oh this is the place this is the place they used to stay uh, the house was uh, demolished. If you are, if you guys have seen Marwa's YouTube channel, can we go support him to get to one million subscribers? So this is the place he used to stay, and uh, you can see a very humble structure. It used to be just a simple structure, but now things are, are changing. I think David Junior and the dad are trying to do something. So let me show you a better view. So guys, you've seen, you've heard, but now we are here. Unfortunately, we could not be able to see the houses because a new project is coming up here. Maybe they are setting up some flats and we want to be able to see that. Maybe next time I'll come, we'll have a better documentary of this place. So this is Nyabuhanse for you, the life. There's a market over there. And uh, this is how life is. And uh, there's a posho mill around that place. I don't want to invade that space. Uh, I want to finish from this end. That's the road. And there, that's Dim Wango's land over there. And uh, you can relate to this amazing place of Nyabuhansi. So you've heard my stories about the hidden treasures of Nyabuhanse. Guys, support this community. Watch, share, and comment. Let's uh, elevate them. Until the next episode, this is my time. This has been my time. My name is 
Anoto in China. Subscribe and follow for more. Bye-bye, guys.